Hi, I'm Peter Woolley and today I'm in the Lake District and I'm on the hunt for crags and tarns, waterfalls and great views. And to get those great views we have to go climb a mountain. So let's go climb a mountain. Right, so I've been walking for a while now, following the footpath as it winds its way up into the hills. And it's been quite a walk, but absolutely more than worth it. What about that then? I'm going to hop over the beck and make myself a quick pencil sketch. Well, I've wandered around looking for a good position, and I think I like this one because it's got a little bit of everything. I'm now going to make a short pencil sketch. Okay, so the, uh, the main thing with a scene like this, which is quite complex and there's a lot happening, is to just get the main shapes established quite early on. I've got the rocks in the background, which I'll just pencil in the outline first. I have to do this before putting in any serious details. But again, just redrawing the the outer shape of the rocks. Because as a preliminary sketch, it's got to mean something to me when I get it back, back into the studio. So I've got to be careful not to put too much in and not to confuse myself. And I'm going to use some Prussian blue and French ultramarine for the sky. It's the Prussian blue first. I get a little bit of French ultramarine mixed as well, so it's ready. Okay, here goes. That's... So there we have the finished painting of the waterfall. The whole impact of a waterfall is from its contrast of light tones against dark. So it's imperative that you retain those highlights as you go along. So the most important thing when painting crags, or in fact rocks of any sort, is to maintain a random quality to it. Also, use tone and colour to create depth in your painting. Distant objects, such as distant mountains, should appear lighter in tone and cooler in colour. It helps to keep them back. Also, keep your detail down to a minimum. Stop fiddling. <laughs>